Thornley who knew people working at Playboy magazine to use Playboy as an experiment to show people how ridiculous most conspiracy theories are and how easy it is to fool people. He called it Operation Mindfuck. In 1967 he and Greg Hill began the operation by placing the first of a number of false conspiracies in between two other ads in a magazine. Thornley's fake story was wedged in between and the question was, was all political assassinations being masterminded by a secret and hidden society called the Illuminati. It said that the Illuminati was the cause of all the world's problems, wars, famine and many other claims in history. He and the other Discordians then began to spread this false information all across America through the counterculture, books, magazines, TV, music and then this spread around the world into a massive culture. Thornley's aim was to spread such stupid information that people would see the absurdity of believing then and he purposely chose the Illuminati for the experiment because he would believe that no one would believe an 18th century Illuminati from Bavaria. Defunct and then a very small order could be the secret leaders of a 20th century world. This operation worked in the 60s, 70s and 80s but with the advent of the internet, people's lack of real research and the KGBs and CIA false information still spreading around the world and poisoning the next generations coming up there is a growing number of people still spreading profiteering from and regurgitating this information which was false back in the 1960s on purpose now that the Illuminati has become a box office hit is talked about by many people, especially those in conspiratorial circles, you can clearly see that there was no evidence backing it up, only blogs, YouTube videos and a few books released after the 70s. What we do know is that most of these conspiracy theories were purposely spread by the Discordians or the CIA, which has later been embellished, regurgitated and changed along the way to suit the person speaking at the time. Generation after generation spreading this false information and every time something major happens in the world the small minority of conspiracy theorists will bring out the Illuminati cards which were very popular game in the 1980s I'm